Welcome back. Upon sharing their mutual love of food, comedy and singing over the leftovers at a party, the Nulas were formed in 1995 and have yeah. since gone from strength to strength, becoming one of the most well-known and loved musical comedy acts in Ireland. This morning, a fraction of the comedy trio, Anne Gildee and Susan Collins, are with us to chat about their Christmas projects. You're very welcome, ladies. Delighted to have two-thirds of you here. Thank you. Now, most of the time, people tend to relax at Christmas and wind down, if possible, and work permits for a few weeks. Not you, ladies, because you're going into Not a pretty busy Christmas. schedule. Mm. Tell us about the snow one. Well, we're, we've been... Um, yeah, we've this year, they're kind of changing it around a little bit and doing sort of different things with it and having um, acts on and stuff on before they actually they show the actual... So this is the uh, National uh, Concert Hall yeah. every year, screening of the showman, our buddy Simon MCs it. Yeah. yeah, and they and have the live accompaniment yes. with the... And I think they have a live boy singer. What are they called? Sopranos. Oh, yeah. yes. Walking in oh, no, the air. It's not uh, Soprano. In the air. Yeah. It's, uh, what is it? I don't know. Jeez. Um, Alto. One of those Alto. boys with the yeah. little high voices. High voice. yeah. yeah, and the full orchestra. So it's a huge you know, thing every year and it's a real tradition for people to go. So this year we're doing um, a couple of numbers before they show the, the actual um, the, the, the snowman. The, the yeah. classic movie. Yeah. And they're two original songs. Yeah. One that we have written to the tune of Let It Snow so that we can do with the orchestra. Ah, very good. So they oh, can beautiful. Get to, yeah. 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 And then um, we've written a, um, an original a cappella. As well. Very Andrew Sisters. Yeah. And it's just the week Style. before Christmas, so everyone's getting really into the festive yeah. spirit. And the funny thing about that particular gig, um, Tommy mentioned we went last year. I mean, you have to give something to the parents as well as the little ones, because you have three year olds there who are just fascinated. Yeah. And likewise, you've parents finally beginning to relax in the lead up to Christmas. Yeah. So yeah. I suppose this is where you come in, because you'll know there's a younger audience there, but you're, yeah. the parents get the I, jokes. That was what was quite tricky, actually, yeah. about writing the songs, because um, we were actually talking to Louis Love who's involved in um, overseeing the whole kind of um, our bits and, and he was just saying he writes a lot for kids and he was just giving us pointers but it was it was actually quite difficult to get the balance right with the lyrics we're obviously an adult act you know yeah but there would be a childlike element to the Nulas anyway so it, was, it, it kind of fits quite well into the whole evening. It's going to be a great success. And yeah. Tommy mentioned in the introduction that you guys formed over bonding at a kitchen table back in 1995. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know it's that long ago. Well, and but then we were together for seven years and then we took a break for ten mm. years You're because on a break. Sue um, started reproducing. <laughs> <laughs> madly. How inconvenient of her. <laughs> little Nulas, baby Nulas. Yeah, yeah, she is a house of little Nulas. This, this is from the, the, the glory oh, days. Look, oh. that's fantastic. But back in the day in 1995, mm. I mean, there were very few, I'd imagine, women in comedy in this country and you were touring in Ireland and the UK as well so we what was life place, yeah. like back then and a lot of times would you be the only female act on the road? Um, it was kind of interesting we didn't really it wasn't sort of a thing that we kind of thought about um, we, we, we just kind of uh, we were all over the place. We were at the Edinburgh Festival for you know for seven years in a row, and and uh... we came a bit. We kind of came out of clubs, but we didn't do the clubs. I think um, y you're more aware of the the sexual politics or the um, demographic yeah. when you're working in the club scene, whereas we quickly went to doing our own shows. That's true, yeah. And um, I think the atmosphere was a little bit different in Dublin back in the day um, because Kevin and Barry and Ardle started the Comedy Cellar and they, they're, they're not horrible ladsy guys. Absolutely you know, not, they're, no. they're, they're sophisticated and never lowest common denominator type type people and, and I suppose there are so power in numbers safety in numbers there's three of you as well so it's not like you're yeah. on your own travel it was around. nice touring yeah. with three yeah, yeah. I think oh. for for stand-ups I think it can be quite lonely yeah, it's hard. Um, I think it's really tough for stand-ups male or female yeah. to be touring because it's it's yeah. it's a lonely old thing after your gig you're kind of on your own or so you, you, you achieved know. that huge success and then as you say you took a break because of you know life that life, life gets, in the way. gets in the way when yeah. you decide to get back together are you amazed and wowed that people are like great the noodles are back that your fans are still there are there new fans or how was that getting back after a yeah, decade yeah it was it was, it was really interesting there's new fans there definitely mm. um the daughters and, and nieces are all and <laughs> Do you know what's all funny <laughs> is, um, the, we also attract an older audience too like we would have thought people our age age with us but we we have 
an audience, a lot, a big audience who are like 20 years older than us. Yeah. Um, to that's oh, that's 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 oh, it's appealed to. It, yeah. it, it's, yeah. it's 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 kind of a very quirky act, but it's also quite mainstream in 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 the diversity of the audience. You can yeah. see that, and there's that's interesting. a lot of young folk. And, and in the time that you were away, like I mean, acts like Flight of, Flight of the Concords, David O'Doherty, yeah. you know, the, the whole idea of musical and, and comedy with a satirical edge. I mean, yeah. it, that was was hugely popular in that time. So you were almost ahead of your time and and, and yeah. benefited. We just that. crossed over with Flight of the Concords. I think they were just starting. And Tim mentioned too, because mm. um, a promoter that we had in Edinburgh, um, Karen Corin, actually was telling us, "Oh, I'm bringing this guy over from Australia." That's right. Yeah. And then he really took off. I think possibly we should have kept going you know it, yeah. it was uh, it was it was quite hard actually to start up again and particularly to get all the material together yeah you know yeah. it but took, I, I think uh, we, yeah. what, what i realized was i thought oh god there's going to be way more kind of uh, of that type of act and i think and there isn't you know because mm. people keep saying oh yeah the nul is in fascinating aida that's kind of it yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's 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 uh it's strange that more more of that sort of style of, of act hasn't appeared you and know? Anne mentioned you know it was a little bit difficult getting back together and and the creative juices to get flowing again did you find that was tough to actually sit down and write because you've been known for writing about the issues of the moment so obviously yeah. there's plenty yeah. of scope there for material I think well creation. we were working all the time but it was just to get the um because we do close harmonies just working through every single song that we yeah. had yeah. and building it up musically yeah. and melding our voices. The music we've been takes quite a while yeah. too. Yeah, we've been singing together now for seven years, so we yeah. it's it's so tight. It's, it's, tight. It's, it's actually seven years ago we got back. Um, so. and, and, and the thing about it, you mentioned there that what, what goes into it, so you, you're, you're not, like an average comedian will say who has to get their, their material, get the delivery right and all that, you've got to get a tune and get a catchy yeah. tune, get the performances right, and, and get, come up with. I mean, we saw yeah. the and the, the satirical edge to the to the lyrics mm. has always been part of what you've done. Yeah. We saw a clip there from the um, the song you released for the marriage referendum. I mean, the mm. lyrics in that you know, let's not turn the issue into an episode of Jerry Springer <laughs> yeah. because a couple of gay boys want to book a band on a wedding singer. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's so. We're particularly proud of that. You gotta make it. You gotta make it. You gotta make it funny. You gotta make yeah. it lyrical. Yeah. You gotta make it work. And, you gotta and make Maria it rhyming in, couplets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Close well, Maria's harmonies. great with the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. third Nula. Yeah. How does she yeah. fit into it? Well, uh, musically. Oh, she's mm. brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. She's she's and she's the instrumentalist too, which is great. So she plays piano, guitar, and. And she, musically, she's it's just you yeah. Know. So, so you that all we have, have that strength. So I yeah. think we're playing to to all our strengths. So yes, that you, you 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 kind of just draw on all those all that experience because Maria did all her own shows. Um, she's a jazz singer and she did all her own um, one one yeah. shows before that. So. She's actually can't be here today because she's in Rome. Oh well, well singing and really? a party. Good for her. Fancy. 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 So, goes well. We have to mention the tour dates. Oh because yeah, and we're in Khmer very very soon. You're in Khmer oh, before we're, Christmas. We're, yeah. we're in Khmer on the first of December. The Carnegie the Arts. Carnegie Arts, Arts, Arts Centre. Yeah. yeah. Well, enjoy it, and you've got a full Loads concert tour dates and from February to May well. next year as well, and they'll be on our website. All booked up. And we're part of the snowman, which we're so looking forward to. Ladies, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Have a lovely Christmas. Thanks for some quiet time. And you can find tickets to see the Nulas in the Christmas show featuring the snowman and your man Delaney at the National Concert Hall over on nch.ie.